All right. Good morning, Danielle. Good Thank morning. you. Uh, Thank you for attending uh, today's Oxbridge Networking Group virtual breakfast. Did you bring your own breakfast? BYOB, that's what we said. <laughs> and I have my green drink too. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, uh, Danielle, tell us uh, about you and um, who you work for. Yeah. Uh, I'm with Durham College Employment Services, and we service the area of Brock, Oxbridge, and Scugog. Mm -hmm. The North Durham. North Durham, yeah. Yes. And what are you responsible for? My role as a job developer is to connect with businesses in the three communities and see what their needs are as far as hiring goes and staffing their business. And then I also meet with our clients that are looking for work and I see if I can provide a match for them and see if we can get people hired in their business with um, with the, the skills that the employer needs and a match with the skills and the interests that a client has. Yes, and I, I know that also uh, during college um, employment services also help like businesses to get uh, subsidy or grant and what, am I correct? Yeah, you are. So part of that matching process uh, an employer can receive a subsidy f to offset the training costs that they would incur by hiring somebody new. Um, so there is a formula that we use. It's um, based more on the skills that an employer is looking for and the, compared to the skills that a potential candidate would have. And um, and we a two-week job trial or it could be an, an eight-week placement. Uh, it all depends on the need. And there's also an opportunity for employers to apply for a grant called the Canada Ontario Job Grant. Mm -hmm. And that is um, so that they can have uh, some existing staff trained to upgrade their skills to take on a new position or um, build on, on hours and re or responsibilities. And um, that funding would be, well, it's about 83% that the, that employer would get back um, for paying a month to go to school, basically, to get training. Right, right. And, and so during uh, COVID-19, uh, was the office open, like, uh, for essential service or not? Our um, main offices are, are closed. So we have off an office in Uxbridge and we work out of the Port Perry Library a couple of days a week. And then we have an office in Beaverton that we're in as well. And so we've closed all those doors and we are very busy all working from home. Um, mm -hmm. We connect regularly as a team, doing really well with that to make sure that nobody falls through the cracks and that everybody that needs service gets service. Right. Whatever it might be, whatever it might be, job searching, um, navigating, applying for some of the government grants, um, trying to seek out, seeking out other services like mental health and um, food and things like that. Mm -hmm. and so all the resources are online, right? They don't have to, you know, like not just at the office that have the resources for people, right? Because now that it's closed, you can still find the resources online. Am I correct? Right. So our, our website has all of our information and our contact information on it. And mm -hmm. um, because we're all working from home, um, there's a registration form online that any employer can go on and um, fill in their contact information or any client can go online and mm -hmm. we'll contact them back. Um, and it'll be uh, from the closest office. So Oshawa, Bowmanville, um, and then, and our resource, our expert office, and as well. Wow. So we have yes. quite a, a range. So, so you handle the, like during the uh, COVID with the uh, government like wage subsidy, do they go to you or they just apply directly through the government? Um, the wage subsidy and the CERB and all of that is all through the federal government. We are um, provincially funded. Oh, so yeah. we have been um, providing resources to businesses. We have been providing resources and assistance to clients looking to apply to those. 
we're not the experts, but we've done what we can to be as supportive as we can. Right. Yes. Um, what about yourself personally? How did you deal with this by like, doing this period? <laughs> Um, at first, it was very interesting. Uh, we went from, I think it was March the 16th, we were going to be staggering our work week in the office, a couple people in the office, a couple people working from home. And that was uh, kind of a directive at 9.30 in the morning. And by 3.30, we um, were set, told we all have to pack up our stuff, get what we could, and we were all going to be working from home. So it was a bit frantic at first. Um, we all pulled together. So there's about 20 of us. We all pulled together trying to get all of our forms online, all of our workshop information copied over. Um, it was it was a heck of two weeks. We were learning Zoom. We were learning Microsoft 365. We were all getting used to these video chat and everything. But um, yeah, it, it was interesting, but but it turned out well and, and we're, we're, I'm doing okay anyway. Wow. So thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Annie. So have a nice day.